Hello my beauties, welcome back. I am Shweta Vijay for the ones that are just discovering me right now. Thank you so much. There's so many new people that have followed me here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. I cannot thank you enough. I appreciate you just taking that second to just hit the red button and to follow me here, leave a comment, hit the like button. I'm watching all of it, yeah, and I'm truly, truly grateful. So uh, today we are going to be talking about my favorite lip liners. Now, my tripod broke, you guys, so I have to adjust the camera accordingly. So please be patient if, you know, I'm not able to zoom in. So I'm just going to take you through my favorite brands that, you know, produce really long lasting uh, lip liners that make sure that your liquid lipstick or any lipstick won't bleed. It's going to be a section of nude, warm nudes, cool nudes, uh, a little bit of that pinky brown nudes and then the darker colors for the reds and the dark browns and the purples, all right? So the first one that I'm starting off with is Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury, the mother of all lip liners. This is their bestseller. Every makeup artist and every model and every MUA blogger has Pillow Talk. What I love about these lip cheats, these are called lip cheats from Charlotte Tilbury. It's because because they kind of give you an outline of the lips so beautifully and they won't budge you guys they just stay on your lips this is one of the best lip liners in the market only because it gives you that outline of a lip in the most natural way pillow talk is that my lips but better kind of a shade uh, a lip liner which I can even fill it up because it's so creamy uh, it's not too waxy it just stays on the lips that's exactly what I have on my lips right now Okay, so the next one is Etude House Lip Liner. This is the Play 101 Lip Pencil in the shade 87. Now, Etude House is a Korean brand and they do not have, uh, what you call it, shade names. It comes in numbers, but what I love about this lipstick is it's a nice peachy coral toned lipstick with a slight hint of brown and it's extremely creamy. It is pigmented. Again, another long lasting lip pencil this is the kind of lip liners that we don't reach out to and we must. This is extremely creamy. This is very, very long lasting. At the same time, it just makes sure that your lipstick doesn't bleed. I absolutely love it. So if you go to the Etude House, you know, I have a whole uh, video dedicated to what to buy from Etude House. But if you do, please go check this one out. I really like the fact that it's that roll up tip applicator and it's got a sharpener. It just makes everything so practical and easy. This is kind of similar to Charlotte Tilbury pillow top, but this has got more peach coral undertones to it. Next one is a drugstore find. This is Shabby Chic from Sleek. Uh, I absolutely love this. These are the Twist Up Lip Pencil 994. I love this because it's affordable. It does the trick. It's a beautiful mauve pink brown nude. You know, I, I really love this. I love how creamy it is, it's extremely pigmented, long lasting, you have to wait for a minute for it to set and I love the pinky mauvey tones to it. So for all those pink lipstick lovers out there, if you're looking out for a very natural lip liner, check out Sleek Cosmetics because Sleek anyway, they cater to women of color, they're very affordable, cruelty free and at the same time the quality is top notch. Oh, my next one is from my favorite Indian brand and that is Pack Cosmetics. You guys, you have to go buy the Color Lock Long Lasting Lip Liner. It's quite a mouthful, but let me just tell you, these are one of the best lip liners in the Indian market. Every time I go to the pack showroom, I make sure that I stock up on these lip liners because they're so creamy, so pigmented, so long lasting and the colors are to die for. This is the kind of lip liner that you can even fill up your lips like the Charlotte Tilbury one. You know, it's not going to be too, it's not going to crack and go into all those little lines on your lips. It's just a creamy matte finish and there's so many beautiful colors. My this beautiful one is that perfect, 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 perfect nude lip liner for every skin tone, okay? Again, I love how creamy this is. I love how brown and beautifully nude this lip liner is. So Spicy is one of their best sellers. I can see why it is always out of stock and why everyone goes for it. You know that nude, those perfect Kylie Jenner nudes from the MAC showroom that is always sold out? This is that perfect dupe, okay? And the next one is the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liners. And just like the name suggests, it is everlasting. It's extremely creamy. It's kind of a roll up kind of a lip liner. So you don't have to sharpen. You just have to outline your lips. And this one, Lolita, this shade is so beautiful. You guys 
This is very similar to So Spicy. So Spicy is a warm nude. This is a neutral nude lip liner with a hint of a pink undertone to it. And it is absolutely creamy, beautiful, long lasting. Slightly expensive, no doubt, because this is Kat Von D, but then it's cruelty free and I love it. And another pack color lock long lasting lip liner. I told you two made it to the cut. This is the shade Plush, and Plush is a warm pink lipstick. So, for all my beauties that is looking out for a good lip liner with that warm uh, brown undertoned lipstick, I'm talking about, you know, that's got a hint of a terracotta in it, go check out this shade called Plush. Plush is another beautiful, creamy, long-lasting lip liner. Look at that color. And many a times I only wear this as my lipstick because it's so matte. It's a creamy matte formula. It's not going to dry your lips. And these lip liners in the Devil May, they're so, so bloody good. The next one, I did mention it in the best and worst of Huda Beauty products. Uh, in that video, I did mention the lip contour pencils. Uh, for the price that you're paying, I feel that there are better lip liners because this is very, very expensive. Saying that, they are very good lip liners, you guys. They do last you for a very long time. You can contour the lips with it. And lip contours were all about, you know, giving you that big, defined pout all right so that's why she created this was her second launch in her entire makeup line uh, these are also extremely creamy they're very long lasting very expensive for a lip liner and this shade in general this is called trophy wife and trophy wife is a mauvey pink color with cool undertones to it so basically it is not like plush that is warmer this is much more cooler this color in general is so perfect for those pinky, mauve lipsticks. You know, it just makes your lip line look a lot more natural. And I love the lip contours. The only shame is it's very, very expensive. Coming to the deeper brown nude, I absolutely love Chestnut from Wet n Wild. This is called Color Recon. I hope I've got that right. This is the shade Chestnut. Uh, you get, I mean, this is value for your money. It's around two or three pounds and just look at the bloody size of it, okay? But the color is absolute perfection. This is the kind of lipstick that I always reach out for when I want to give my, you know, lip line a little more definition, a little more pout. This gives you that natural kind of a pout when you're, you know, wearing a nude lipstick or even if you're wearing a slightly warmer brown lipstick. I just love how creamy this is, how long lasting it is, and that warm brown undertone to it. Can you see that? This is absolute perfection. I love how affordable Wet n Wild is. I'm talking about in the nude category. Uh, I go for the Charlotte Tilbury and the uh, uh, So Spicy from PAC a lot more. And if I want to define my lip liner a lot more, then I also use Chestnut from Wet n Wild. Beautiful lip liners. Another one that I discovered is the Morphe Sweetie. This is their color pencils in the shade Sweetie. And oh my Lord, this is so beautiful. This has got a lot more neutral deep brown undertone to it. I mean, I would say that, you know, that chai that you have just left uh, without touching it for a long time and it becomes cold and then it turns into another color. Well, that's the color this one is. It's got a bit of a yellow undertone to this, okay? So it is so different from all the new lip liners that I have. Again, it is so long lasting, very, very creamy, the formula of this one. This is not at all patchy. I just, I just love this and this is so reasonable. This again is around three to four pounds. Definitely much more cool toned and much more deeper than the Wet n Wild Chestnut. But nevertheless, it's a fantastic lip liner. I know I'm saying fantastic for everything, but what can I say? These lip liners, you guys, you know that I'm a big lipstick junkie. <laughs> I mean, I need to be you know, put into a rehab with the kind of lipstick collection that I have because I'm obsessed with lipsticks. I'm obsessed with lip liners. So anything to do with a lip product, Shweta is there. So I have done my research and that is why I thought of making this video. The next brand, uh, the only thing I like about Kylie Cosmetics are their lip liners. That's the only thing that's worth your money and worth picking up. This one, this shade in particular called Ginger is that really deep warm brown terracotta. Okay, so there are very, very few terracotta kind of lip liners out there 
this one makes the cut extremely creamy very very pigmented ginger is one of her best shades in my opinion the other lip liner that she has i'm sure you can get a dupe of it i still haven't found a dupe of ginger whatever lipsticks that fall under the nude pink terracotta to orange shade range you can definitely pair it with ginger now let's talk about NYX Slide On Glide On which according to me are one of the best affordable lip liners. They are extremely affordable. Okay, I've said that. Uh, it's less than five pounds. I love the fact that the shade variety of this is a complete knockout. Whatever shade that you want, you'll definitely get it in the NYX range. I love how creamy it is. I love the formula. I love how you can even apply this as a lipstick because that's how creamy and pigmented it is. And it just makes sure that your liquid lipstick doesn't bleed. It'll stay put absolutely love this this particular dark deep chocolate brown is called urban cafe it is so excellent you guys i love the shade i love the undertone of this chocolate brown lip liner it's got a red undertone so it is going to deeply complement our skin tone next is the ultimate lip liner from gosh cosmetics this is 004 the red I love the fact that on the other side it's got a little bit of a brush so that you can clean up your lip liner after applying this. This again is an extremely pigmented lip liner, very very creamy, uh, very long lasting. You have to give it a minute for this to set and once it sets it's not going to budge. Great for you know those liquid lipsticks especially the red ones that have a tendency to bleed and to spread all over and make you look like the joker. This is one of those versatile lip liners. If you can find a lip liner that's got that pink orange undertone to it, that even a classic blue tone red also will go with it, just pick it and grab it. Because of the rubber shape, it's almost like an hourglass shape. You you can catch the lip liner really well and you can just, you know, define and outline your lips. I think this is very beginner friendly and this is a beautiful color no doubt. We have another NYX Slide On Glide On lip liners and I have got about 6-7 shades from this very range because like I said, it's highly pigmented, great value for money, it is extremely creamy. I use this as a lipstick as well because that's how creamy it is and I think that they are the ultimate drugstore lip liners. This particular lip liner, Brick House, is great for that deep red, the ox blood uh, reds as well as the wine reds. I love this red because of how deep and dark this is. This is so fall autumn appropriate you guys. Even if you wear this on its own also it's going to complement your skin and I sometimes even pair this with a dark brown lipstick. And the last one to make it to the cut is a lip liner that I don't reach out for much more because of its deep purpley wine undertones to it. This Smart Fusion lip pencil which is so affordable, so pigmented for a purpley wine undertone lip liner which has a tendency of bleeding. You really need to invest in a good lip liner that will not go all over the place especially when you put a purple lipstick because purple lipsticks have got so much of pigments in them. I know this is the kind of lip liners that most of us Indian girls don't reach out to but it's a definite must have in your makeup collection. It's also extremely creamy. I would suggest you to go check out all the different shade range that they have. But this one in particular is great for the purple lipstick, that you know deep orchid color lipsticks as well as that deep wine reds. Even for a wine color, that wine red or a very dark lip like I'm talking about um, Colourpop Tune. Even for that I would pair this particular lip liner. So the battle of my lip liners are over and right after that is the battle of my colored eye pencils and yeah and eyeliners i think we should do eyeliners as well isn't it the blackest eyeliners out there i'm always in the hunt for it so let me know in the comment section give me your feedback what you'd like to see next what you think about this video if you liked it give it a nice big thumbs up make a sister happy and i shall see you when i see you bye